Him will vlog there again with, that, with a number of other interesting topics. Today we want to talk about a number of topics. We we'll quickly kick it off right away. So today we want to talk about Silk Boss. So Silk Boss has been controversial ever since he making entry in the music industry. You know, we see where Terodan was the one that brought him to the forefront. You know, Terodan um, bring him calling him from Moby and they have a viral TikTok video. And Terodan calling him in from Moby. Um, Terodan see the talent we have in the viral video and him calling him from Moby. And as we say, controversial because not long after that we see Silk um, Silk Boss get couple songs, get couple number one songs, and then we see where man Terodan the kick off a big controversy with the Guari man Terodan. He must say, Yo, Terodan rub up him money, him now get him royalties or him YouTube money we're supposed to get. We see Terodan did do an extended interview, not really an interview, but him did do a vlog on Fiend channel and I say, Yo, Silk Boss and grateful, and Silk Boss and really understand the music industry. We see where then we see Silk Boss and Bree that I'm baby mother now. Uh, him expected baby mother, him girlfriend at the time. We see him and her come out on the fix and them they do an extended interview. A long interview, one of the longest interviews that we see the fix do. And them talk about a number of things into the terror than him say terror than a thief as we mentioned earlier. Them say terror than rob up them money. Them him say um, silk boss that say yo him say Bree I do a vlog them on YouTube and she get too much much money and him a big DJ, big artist, I get a couple much number one songs and whatever and him never get no money. So as I say controversial, he was he came in the music industry being controversial. So we see after that another viral video a couple months ago come out with him or a number of viral videos come out with him where he get abused by some some young men. They must say they affiliated with a gang over Portmore side and him charge of badness or whatever. We all know that controversy they go. We see where him did get beaten as I say. I mentioned it earlier in our video yesterday. But we see where him did get beaten and we see where Joshi, we don't know where man Joshi they have leading up to the to the whole beating incident there before like a good while before the beating incident. We see where them that take lyrical shots at one another. At least Silk Boss that take lyrical shots at Joshi. Cause we see Silk Boss took up a song well um for Joshi but as I say in the previous video yesterday um we never really see Joshi really direct. You know Joshi come like him and run from the clash or whatever. So Joshi did do like a couple of songs and then might take one 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 shots off a silk boss he never do nothing direct because joshi as as me say probably he may do a song name like him i say yo he might pretty bigger picture and him not pretty no small thing he also did do that interview with terror and he must say yo I'm a pretty big picture, I'm not really want to clash and if any clash I go on as thing I am like clash face to face because we know Joshi made, it, made his entry in the music and the first time we saw Joshi in the music industry it was a thing called annually clash you know when a popcorn promotion him did have an annually clash thing that was, that was the first time we see Quadda also and then we see Joshi did win the annually clash but popcorn I said he couldn't sign him because he was still in school and whatever so he never get to sign him at that time so he did end up signing um, Quadda we see where him and Quadda did jump off and the relationship did 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 did, 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 did mash up between him. So now we still the relationship never the music relationship never continue with Quadda and Popcorn. So we see where that did end up. So as me say, Silk Boss have a controversial um career thus far. And we see where the most recent thing happening with Silk Boss is a crash. Um in 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 right off in brand new BMW and as I said in the video yesterday it was like a couple of days Silk Boss um, got that BMW we see him baby mother breathe do a little insta shot thing and she say yo our man thing up now you know BMW I don't know if a 5 series or whatever BMW it was or whatever BMW it is but we see where the BMW um, crashed and right off yesterday and as um, we get some more information we also hear that Bree was in the car at the time of the incident uh, but seem as if everybody okay everybody all right i'm happy for that as i was saying at the video yesterday we don't want nobody really hurt themselves or whatever so jumping at the second topic quick and fast we see people are we see um vibes cartel is in the the, the hot seat again per se hot seat for want of a better term we see vibes cartel people are talking about him album sales where um them say about the 310 copy vibes cartel album say in a pure album sale in a way us are we don't remember the full details but if album now well at now do so well and if you are wondering what album i'm talking about is an album called true religion you know dedicated to vibes cartel fiance soon to be wife I don't know how the married thing they are going to go, how the wedding thing they are going to go. As we all know, Vice God is incarcerated and we don't see where he's going to come out anytime soon. Although him lawyer yeah, have him hopes up and you know him the appeal thing there at the Privy Council. And I guess I got Vice God the law shot out 
at freedom and yes yeah, so that is why it's called the last shot at freedom uh, we know say after the privy council we don't really see where no other way where vice cartel and other avenue where vice cartel and him legal team are going to take to see if him can get free so as we say we are talking about the album sales so the album is not doing so well but in regards to vice cartel i think vice cartel has done his time in music not not necessarily for retire or whatever but his glory days has passed we're not going to this album like king of the dance hall or them great album there with songs like fever and them song there we're not going to really see nothing like that from vice cartel because you know every time you know no king no reign forever so people need to stop even come to vice cartel with even these young artists because vice cartel has done when most of them not going to live for and that's that's just the reality vibes cartel has dominated the, the, the ear wave and the internet and the whatever for the for the longest while so i guess when you are a great man you know people expect greatness from you until you die still and it hardly happened like that you know even michael jackson if michael jackson was still alive i doubt he would be um the the the, the, the artist, artist right now and that would be very unlikely remember so we know say great a great people come great people go the 310 um 10 um, al- um, album sale that that not some of vice cartel career vice cartel career is way bigger than that vice cartel has had great album vibes cartel has had great hit songs so we don't know why people kind of bash him or whatever as me say when you're great people expect greatness and one of the things that we don't really like with people them really them judge you based on your last performance you know if chris gill is a great batsman and him out for ducks today them remember all the greatness with chris gill, chris gill do throughout him whole career you know they might say yo chris gill i feel like because him out for ducks in him last innings and that is not good that is not good enough but people are people you know how the cycle so moving on to the next topic so we say footer hype in a shrouded in controversy right now as always foot hype you know him them, them call him the viral king and in order for you to be viral or, the, or in order for you to be named the viral king you have a full of controversy and foot hype is no different because we see foot hype in the media we see foot hype a man the angel now at it not really at it because we see him put out a post where the animal say yo the angel um, the angel i, I, I start it tell you exactly where they started so Nicki Minaj, you know, Nicki Minaj did a, a remix of King's song, Licker Miss. She, uh, she did a remix first with she and King alone. And then she did a next remix and also a rename. They rename the song and they call it Fine Nine. Because we see a couple, a lot of female artists involved in that project there. And two of the female artists, them, put the hype and say, Yo, I'm not like how for them song go. Because for them um, verse go, because they must sing freakiness and Duffy Bang, they must say she want rain or job or she want the oral sex and foot the hype. So I'm going to cut out Dovey Magnum part of the song. You see me? I'm saying that like Dovey Magnum part and it's off to go. So I'm saying I'm going to make a version for himself without Dovey Magnum and I think somebody else. I remember the other person. But like when I say I'm cut out. Now Vegas did take issues with that. And we, me also did a video and me take issues with, issues, issues with it as well. Because I see kind of some hypocrisy coming in with footer hype as it relates to that. Because I remember Nicki Minaj should do a lot of songs such as those. For, for, um, Nicki Minaj have a song named Dominoes. But when I sang them, I can't remember with her. And she said, yo, she's still Wayne girl. That's how little Wayne. And she's still Drake girl. And she like real bitches. She not like fake girl or whatever. She said a lot of things. She has said a lot of things in her song over over her career and spanning over her career so I'm gonna see why foot hype I gotta take issues with Dovey Magnum because Dovey Magnum I say whatever as me say is a double standard it's obvious that it's a double standard but true foot hype I was I say when he came in hard sad follow him on Instagram you know him go over fear page and him come in how much more things and whatever and him like much much things gosh him not follow her a long time and now she start follow him so he might get ahead of himself you see me which as me say is kind of hypocritic, rip, hypocritical because we see where foot hype he told from coffee proto j chronics them every rasta jesse royal him so jesse royal do it are doing a christmas had the whole nine yards so i don't know why foot hype i take issues with with Dovey Magnum them and him not take issue with Nicki Minaj but as me say double standard so we see where Vegas did take issues with it as me say and Angel did do a video um, alive the other day and she said yo foot I fell out the people and them sang and we see where D Angel I think Nicki Minaj repost up as a, a snippet of Nicki um, D Angel um, live and foot I say yo D Angel um, get, get her accomplished accomplish whatever she did set out for the because she wanted to get Nicki Minaj attention and in order for she get Nicki Minaj attention she have to call for that name so in my laugh and I say yo job well done um, from John Bell done by 
by Angel because I said she get her she accomplished what she set out to get which is Nicki Minaj attention so as that, that, that one of the things that take place in a dance hall now and we also I got I got touch the, the, the broadcasting commission topic so we see the broadcasting commission issue out a ban earlier this week they must say them a ban all songs promoting use of drugs and them specifically um, point out Mali and Nose King and the Mali Dana the Mali King them man they sing about Mali and almost every song we do so everybody has say you a King song them then get banned but they never specifically say King they say usage of Mali them say any usage of um, gun lyrics any, anything promoting any song promoting scamming and a couple other things them outline say them song they prohibited and them song they banned but as I did say in one of my previous video it not really got affect the nowadays dance hall artists because they have um, a million and one other social media um, channel with them can use and other social media sites where they can use to promote their music so the music the, the music is less promoted than radio and we see where um, a lot of disc jack and a lot of radio personnel has come out Nick, um, DJ Liquid, ZJ Liquid go as far as to say he still has to play whatever song he feels to play so I guess he's willing to face the consequences where they are coming you know that can lead to a suspension, that can lead to him losing his job but I guess he's willing to risk that I don't think it's a well calculated thing when Liquid has said that hopefully he will carry out what he said and it's just a, a just snapping snap because you know him emotionally attached to the music and whatever and probably that is a snap reaction you know I don't think he genuinely means about the bag of against the broadcasting commission rule and play where he want to play and do what he want to do so as always Emerge TV. This is like a weekly roundup, you know. We know we have a lot of more a lot more topics going around throughout the week, but this is like a weekly roundup. So from Monday to today or Saturday, yeah, that is like a weekly roundup of the most important entertainment thing we are going around, entertainment news and reviews we are going around. And as always, you know, Emerge Squad, I want to make the thing possible. I want to give me the motivation to do videos like this. So tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. So Emerge Blog is one of the wickedest blogs around here. Um, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you don't as it. Emerge flag. I'm out.